Good afternoon and welcome to the Windsor Star's Net News at Noon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Pearson bringing you the best from the paper and the web. In a sign of the times, the city of Windsor is getting into the food bank business. Uh, Councillor Alan Halberstadt will donate the first canned goods to the Windsor and Essex County Food Bank Association when the city launches its partnership with the local umbrella group. And as well, municipal affairs reporter Doug Schmidt will look into a report being released by the city's integrity commissioner. It's an annual report and should make for some interesting reading. <laughs> the city core transformation continues. While a number of storefronts remain vacant, long time uh, downtown boosters Ramo and Ronaldo Agostino are inspiringly bullish about the city's looming fortunes. In fact, they have a new basement bar that they're creating and they chat with Windsor Star food dude Ted Whip about what that's going to be about. Water rates are going up again. The Windsor Utility Commission announced that it will raise water rates 10% in each of the next three years in order to deal with rising infrastructure costs. And there's a big announcement today on infrastructure. A couple of odd things though. It's being made by federal conservative Jeff Watson and provincial liberal Sandra Puputello. And another odd thing, it's being made at the uh, Windsor-Essex County Humane Society. So that's one to check back in on with us either in the paper or on the web. The Spits are at home tonight against Guelph and uh, German goalie Philip Grubauer will be in Nets. He's also expected to be in Nets in London tomorrow night. We'll live blog both games starting at 7 p.m. And here's one from the Weird Windsor Department, but in a good way, uh, I think. Uh, Shirzad Sinjari a, is a 36-year-old Windsor construction worker who moonlights as an actor. Uh, a while ago, he answered a casting call for a low-budget film. So it turns out, though, when he went there, that the filmmaker is a former O.J. Simpson hanger-on who has 70 hours of documentary footage of the fallen football star. And, well, it just gets weirder from there. Here to talk about the situation is Dalson Chen, a Windsor Star reporter. Um, so what is the situation? You've spoken with uh, Shurzat. Well, uh, when he answered the casting call, he really had no idea what it was about. The movie's called Suspect 32. So Shurzad met with a producer, this crazy producer named Norman Pardo. And uh, Norman has hung out a lot with O.J. And he captured all this footage in the name of rehabbing O.J.'s image. But then O.J. got put away for robbery. So he had all this footage and he says, I'm going to make a crime movie out of it with O.J. as a character. And in the story has Shurzad playing a burglar who O.J. is hired to break into a guy's house and steal a bunch of stuff. And if you recall in real life, uh, O.J. was put away for leading a group of men to break into a guy's hotel room and steal a bunch of stuff. So let me get this straight, though. The guy has documentary footage, which yes. is normally used for documentary. The real O.J. Simpson, yes. Yeah, but, but he's somehow squeezing this in now to a fictitious film. Yes, splicing it into this, this film. And in another eerie case of art imitating life, uh, the producer's wife is also in the movie, and in the plot, she and her friend get murdered. So it's, you know, shades of Nicole Brown Simpson and uh, Ron Goldberg. Okay. And now, Scherzot hasn't actually seen the movie yet. Right. Uh, he just played his role, and then he got out, and he's, he's really hoping that it's in good taste. Uh, it's shrouded in mystery. There's a website devoted to it. It says it's coming out sometime this year. Uh, but uh, it, from what I can see, it's a mess. It's There's, like, African ninja zombies involved. It's a... Uh, Promotional material calls it a classic murder mystery. With uh, it's also a comedic, satirical, uh, semi-satirical drama. I, it, it's really bizarre stuff. <laughs> but it has a Windsor guy in it. Yes. So and the real O.J. Simpson. <laughs> and the real O.J. Simpson. So with those two alone, I don't know. It's it's worth checking in. Sure, hey, admits it's probably the weirdest thing he's ever been involved in. One of the weirdest things I've heard. But hey, we always enjoy having you come on. You no like problem. talking about weird stuff. I like hearing about I'm it. I'm a weird guy. Hey. <laughs> so we'll have you back on. Okay. He admits it. You heard it here first on Net News at Noon. Dawson Chen is a weird guy, but in a good way. Thank you. Anyway, uh, please tune in tomorrow for some more strange, informative, or simply fun stuff on Net News at Noon. <laughs>